Hey buddies, it's Dylan and welcome to episode 3 of Sealed Only Hard Mode. Oh, look at what's going on here. I got a new microphone, the lighting's a bit better, I've got videos playing in the background, and posters. Oh, Dylan, how you outdo yourself? Anyways guys, welcome to today's episode. As you guys saw in last week's episode, we only played two rounds and they were both against Adam Emancipator, and it wasn't fun. Uh, <laughs> I basically just watched these two dudes combo off in different ways for an hour and a half, so hopefully we're gonna have more variety today. And thank you, some of you actually did reach out and say that you were gonna play in tonight's tournament, so I'm super excited to see what happens tonight. And thank you to everybody who actually did sign up for the tournament, and if you didn't do it this time, see if you're available next week. It's every Thursday at 7 p.m central time and be sure to head on over to fusiongamingonline.com and sign up for the tournament and you can use code buddyforce5 for five percent off so be sure to go check that out as well anyways without further ado let's get into the video so i like i said this is going to be the last time that i just open secret slayers it's not the last time i'm gonna ever open secret slayers but it's the last time that i'm going to do it uh, solely so we are gonna open up 10 packs of secret slayers this week and next week We're gonna mix it up a bit maybe like three packs of secret slayers and then seven packs of something else because we need to like work on our extra deck all we've got are like some Adam emancipator synchros and I think one of each Rika X's so yeah, no, well, that's not good enough for us. We're going to be doing some good stuff and hopefully getting some good extra deck cards as well so without further ado enough talking let's get into the packs pack number one. Oh, hey nice we got adam Vader researcher that was the first roll okay this is this is starting off good this is starting off great i've got my excel sheet open up here so i'm going to be changing the numbers here we can change researcher to one uh what else can we change do I need to change Cyclamen goes to one. Do we already have all our guardians? No, we got two guardians now. Galaxy Cyclone. I think we're all done with Galaxy Cyclone. We only have one Galaxy Cyclone, so that's two Galaxy Cyclone, and I know we already have enough Cheerbeamy. Actually, no, I'm lying. That is our third Cheerbeamy. <laughs> Man, that is awesome. First researcher. Maybe we'll try playing Adam Emancipator uh, with no extra deck. <laughs> with no good extra deck. Let's go into pack two. V much more lackluster than our last one. I'll give you that. Okay, pack number three. Okay, we got Conquistador. We got our third sign, so that's good. So signs is at three now. Ra third Raptite, third si our second signs, our second Conquistador, our third Golden Land forever, and our and we already have three Koikimir Sandman. Okay, that's pack three. Pack four. Ooh, we got Analyzer. That's good. Uh, do we even have? Did we have any Analyzer? No, this is our first Analyzer. So, first Analyzer, our second Dragite, our second Laputite. We've already gotten three Sandman and Trap Trick. This is our third Trap Trick. So we got a play set of Trap Tricks now. Nice. So pack number five. Uh, okay. This is sort of a throwaway. <laughs> we got. Our second pyramid of wonders. We've that's our upteenth ill blood. We've already gotten enough titanial. I think that is our. We already have enough block dragon. Nope, that is our second block dragon, and our second copy of Rika sheet. Pack six. Ooh, another seeker. Okay, so that's our playset of seeker done. Now pack seven. Yeah, I know how to count. Hey, and we got Teardrop, so that's another one of her. Okay, pack eight. Uh, I think that's our playset of Laputite. That's actually pretty good. So we've already got our Lone Fire Blossom. We already got Chirubimi. Galaxy Cyclone, is that our playset? Yes, that's our playset of Galaxy Cyclone. Pack nine. Ooh, we got some okay cards. I think we already have... No, this is our playset of Signs. 
nice. We've already got the trap trick. I believe we have this is our playset of nine tailed fox. Yes, this is our playset of nine tailed fox. We've already got a playset of golden land forever, and that finishes our playset for teardrop. We still don't have any Rika Petal, which is kind of weird, or any Primula. So I didn't really expect to be getting more Ad Emancipator cards than Rika cards. Just, I don't know, maybe it's something to do with the simulator. Final pack. Let's go. And it's a second researcher. Oh my god. And it's a second upstart, but. Who cares about a second upstart? So that is our second copy of Researcher. Awesome, 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 awesome. So uh, I'm not sure. I think we're gonna try going more at Emancipator heavy now that we have at least one of each of them. So we're gonna try that even though we don't have the extra deck to back it up. But uh, we're gonna see how it goes. So yes, yeah, stay tuned. Okay guys, so I just finished working on the deck and this week we are gonna go super rock heavy. As you can see, it's pretty much just rock stun, except a lot worse. Uh, we added in our one copy of Analyzer, we added in the three Dragite, three Leonite, and the two Raptite. Got two Researcher and three Seeker. Got the one Block Dragon, two Doki Doki, three Guardian, two Overload, a Sandman, and a Wall. Then we've got three copies of Laputite, three copies of Sign, one Upstart Goblin, two Relief, three Resonance, and two Rock Bombardment, because why not? And then lastly, finishing it off is two Galaxy Cyclone. I think actually, now that I'm showing you guys this, I'm going to add three copies of Solemn Judgment to the side deck, uh, just in case. Why not? We have them, so we might as well try to make some sort of side deck. But this is the deck that we are going to be running in the tournament tonight. So, uh, honestly, I think we might be able to do more, but like I said, the issue is, is that we've got six synchros, um, and we've got three copies of Raptite, yet that's the least amount of rocks we have. We've only got two of the win rocks. So yeah, we'll see. Fingers crossed. Anyways, I will see you guys after the tournament. Okay, so few hours gone by and the tournament's done. We actually had four rounds. We had eight people, which is over double the amount that we had last week. So thank you to all of you guys who actually took the time to sign up and join the tournament this week. I really appreciate it. Fusion really appreciates it. Thank you guys so much. So let's get right into the replays. Now, honestly, the results were promising. I'll be honest. Uh, I actually played against Minsu first round. That was really funny. Uh, we didn't really expect to play each other at all. I'm just gonna fast forward through this. I don't know why it's uh, going so slow. So it just basically ended up with me doing a Guardian Pass. He was playing Eldritch Synchro, which obviously I can't really do anything about. He already impermanenced the Guardian. So right now it's just a body. He's just doing all of his combos. The what is it the needle fiber into aurora dawn and then make savage dragon uh as you see he does the attacks attacks the guardian attacks me i think that was at 15 and then attacks me for 40 50 and then makes herald pass and <laughs> there there's nothing i can actually do like you guys see my hand i try doing uh lap tight he lets it through i don't know why uh i try to make an attack and he just does all this and attacks for game anyways. So that was game one of our match. Game two, I went first. And this is where I'm saying it was promising. Uh, we learned something. So I normal drag eye and made the researcher. Researcher effect uh, summon the raptite. I am still getting used to playing Adam Emancipator. Like every now and then I'll forget to... Uh, put the stuff at the bottom of the deck and I actually just like shuffle it in which is really bad I know I'm so sorry uh, yeah I'm still trying to learn the deck and I messed up quite a few times my opponents were very forgiving about that I'm gonna... my opponents were very forgiving about that uh, so yeah and it didn't really matter too much obviously I was still gonna lose I learned that I can beat Synchro Eldritch if they brick super hard and they don't have any hand traps and I go first. So, 
we're 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 doing good. We're beating meta. <laughs> uh, yeah, you guys can see I ended with just Raptite Dragite and tried to do some shenanigans. Basically, what Mintu is doing here is he was waiting until I had enough on board to actually have game, and then he just ends up scooping. Yeah, as you guys can see, and then we sign into game three. I am going second which we all know is a no-go. <laughs> I did get the Galaxy Cyclone because I do run two of those in my deck and it actually came in handy in a few cases today. Obviously when he has so much back row, uh, one Galaxy Cyclone isn't gonna do much. He lets me do the Lapatite again because it really doesn't matter because I couldn't get any of my Adamant's pages on the field. Anyways, then he goes back into the combo with the whole Link Cross and Needle Fiber and Aurora Dawn and the Synchro Shenanigans. At this point, I still don't know how the combo works. I just like, I go on my phone for maybe five, ten minutes and then I look back and they're like, okay, it's your turn. So, <laughs> yeah, and he just attacks for games. So that was round one. We actually won a singular game. Uh, very proud of myself for that and you guys are gonna see it happen again I don't think it's this game I played against Adam Anspater and shockingly enough when I play in the mirror I lose so uh, yeah that's a big rip for us obviously like I feel like at this point nobody's shocked like oh wow you lost <laughs> crazy but like i said this is gonna be the last week that we're just opening up secret slayers and then next week we're gonna start mixing it up maybe do like five packs of secret slayers and then five packs of something else just to like grab more staples grab more hand traps and stuff like that i'm actually i'm trying to figure out what to do uh i need your guys's opinion on something i don't know how to get nibiru Mainly because you can't find Megatons anywhere, so even if I wanted to do actual sealed product, I couldn't. And there's no, like, online pack simulator for the promo section of Nibiru. Or, is Nibiru even allowed? Like, I know it's not guaranteed in each pack, uh, but it's still, like, sort of a promo, you know what I mean? So let me, let me know how I should go about getting Nibirus if I need them. Uh, or do I just suck it up and not play Nibiru, uh that's just how it is he actually let me do plays here which i was very grateful for uh we i played against him last week he was the second out emancipator player i played against last week my lap type things it's nice fun time i still don't really know like when to go into which things chain of events uh but obviously it doesn't matter because he's just gonna activate wing dragon of raw sphere mode so that was a big middle finger to me and i didn't activate leonite because i guess yeah i just didn't think of it so that's my fault goes into the needle fiber link cross gets gallant granite and once again i get to watch people do synchro plays <laughs> Uh, at this point, I can't actually tell whether I'm playing against Eldritch or if I'm playing against Adamancipators or if I'm playing against Trap Tricks, which you guys are going to see in the next round here. Yeah, and he just attacks for game. Uh, so that was round two. Round two, obviously, yeah, I lost the mirror. Big, big shock. And lastly, round three. So we had four rounds, but... Uh, in the last round, my opponent and I just decided not to play, uh, just because I was already X3 and he didn't really feel like playing. So, yeah, I'm just gonna get this in. And I played against Trap Tricks, but honestly, I thought I was playing against either Outlook or Adam Anspator, because it's basically just, okay, which two monsters do I use to start doing synchro plays? <laughs> Pretty much. Uh... Yeah, I guess that's what every deck seems to be like right now. I'm not salty, you're salty. Yeah, I got to go first, got to do a couple of little plays. Got a Guardian on field. Uh, I can't remember if the Guardian survived or not. Oh yeah, yes it did. 
I grabbed the researcher off of Leonite, which was the rock that I needed to reveal. And this is me realizing, oh, I didn't put those at the bottom of my deck, so that's just me doing that right now. And I passed turn. The one thing that kind of sucks, though, is that I do have the Leonite on field still, so I'm not actually able to use uh, Big Leonite's effect. I, if I remember correctly, he didn't get lethal on me at this point, uh, which was very shocking. Uh, he definitely could have had lethal. I don't know why he didn't go for it. Maybe he just didn't know that route. But he does a majority of damage on me. Like, even with the two cards in my hand, probably not going to come back from this, right? I, think, I do think it's funny that I had the Galaxy Cyclone, but yeah, there's nothing I could do. You guys wonder why you flipped up and down. We were talking, and uh, I guess, like, yeah, there was some miscommunication, but either way, I lost. <laughs> we go into game two. I open up, like, the exact same combos the last time. It's like Laputite, Laputite Upstart, which I had last time, which I think is really funny. I'm starting to understand that, like, Laputite's kind of weird, because even though you get to stack the five, they all go to the bottom, and especially in my deck, when I only have limited amounts of things, like I only have one analyzer, uh, it kind of sucks when I'm sending five Adam Emancipator cards to the bottom of my deck, so I'm spending a lot more time pacing it out. And it's like, as you guys saw there, I used Laputite to basically get one card off the upstart, and after I did that, I shuffled up the deck by Loki Doki, so I didn't have to put all of them through. I guess it would have worked either way, but yeah. goes and does his points. Which once again, I'm just sitting here like, okay, yeah, take your time. I'm not really gonna uh, be doing anything. I think I we we're making jokes about how, oh, I could have opened up like one pack of Legendary Collection Kaiba or Maximum Crisis and got the hand caps. Oh yeah, we made a joke here about how we were 25 minutes into our round and the rounds are 50 minutes. Just it gives you time to set up and for lag and everything so i made a joke about how 25 minutes in and i told him oh uh i should have just stalled for 25 minutes and activated this and he's like no -uh, I, I had solemn judgment <laughs> so, uh yeah jesse's an awesome guy uh probably one of the funniest people who goes to our yeah, this is the deck for the time being. Uh, actually, siding in the Solemn Judgments really helped. I did like having the Galaxy Cyclone in the main deck, just because if you lose die roll or whatever. Uh, but yeah, anytime I knew I was going to go first, I just swapped out Solemn Judgments for the two Galaxy Cyclone and a Rock Bombardment. And it seemed to work pretty nice. I, I thought that uh, it worked very well like that. But... That is it, guys. Uh, episode 3, done. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget, every single Thursday is when I'm doing these tournaments, and you guys can join too. Just go to FusionGamingOnline.com and sign up for the tournaments there. And you can also use code BuddyForce5 for 5% off. Okay, guys, I'll see you later.